<laughs> See, I said, yeah, I have to video because Gene and David are not here, so I have to video film you. <laughs> So, how are you? This is from St. Thomas. All the other ones you see out there, British Islands. The taller, the big one in the middle. And Joe's Van Dyke is the one next to it. To the That's British. Oh. Those two out there. Okay, as long as you finish taking your picture, let me know so that I could proceed. Thank you, Thomas. Ready? Okay. We're ready. We're ready. So you can. I love it. No. No. Come on and see him. Here we are in the Titanic live. So do you have any toasts for us? Yes. Okay. The Hartwoods family and the last night of Hanukkah. Oh.
Uh, why is one flashing? <laughs> Today's the eighth night of Hanukkah. And because we're on this Jewish cruise ship, we have Havana Gila and the menorah. And the, the brachas were already said. <laughs> the 200 passengers that were with us here last cruise. Now, by my mathematics, that makes 2,050 passengers aboard. This is the captain. The vast majority of you come from the United States of America. We actually have 1,400 from the United States, and you may stop and cheer if you wish. Yippee! We have a small contingent, uh, a very substantial contingent of 500 of this cruise who come from the United Kingdom. <laughs> Here, here. We also have aboard 100 from Canada. <laughs> there are many, many different nationalities. I'll go through them here. The Republic of Ireland, South Korea, Zimbabwe, Switzerland, Puerto Rico, Australia, Bermuda, Hong Kong, Jamaica, Holland, Russia, the Philippines, China, and Jamaica. Inside the Princess Theatre. Botanical gardens just below us, right here. You could see the agricultural produces are grown here. And most of the trees at the botanical gardens are trees which were imported to Dominica. Most of them. The others are plants which you'll find in the rainforest of Dominica, some here far. But most of the plants were imported from South America, Malaysia. We've also got a small cricket playground here, as cricket is Dominica's national sport. And the, this is the cricket playground here. Actually, the British were the ones who set up this cricket playground here. We've also got the, our main football stadium, the Windsor Park. A fort to defend the island. Well, the other section of this fort was done. Do you see this semicircular, this big semicircular building on the bayfront? This is presently the Fort Young Hotel. It was named after the person who designed it, designed the hotel, Fort Young. And this is the, their White House. It is house. used presently as a hotel, but it used to be this a fort to defend the city of Rosa. Five miles an hour. 87 Arcane people day. died, and in excess of 60% of the island was left homeless. And this is the only map that you could see that Hurricane David had left. The food. But the Sicilian parent got to take the food with its clothes to put it in its mouth. That's because its lower bill is curved up and it is longer than its upper bill. So it's got to put the food <coughs> in its mouth. It lays two eggs every year. The female lays two eggs every year. And it is 
automatic that these eggs are one male and one female. Now parrots are born partners. Cicero parrots are born partners and their partners for life. Whenever one dies, the other stays in solitary until it dies also. And the Cicero parrot got a life expansion of 70 years. This is in Dominica and these are the botanical gardens. This is Trafalgar Falls. I'm not there yet. In Dominica. Okay, this is the produce that we'll reach up here. No, this is the twin falls of Trafalgar. Over to our left here, it's the father fall, as you could see, slim, tall, unproductive. The and the mother falls. This one is hot, and this one is hot. And this used to be a cool area where people could swim, but the hurricane in 1995 destroyed it. Come on, come on, come on. You're ready with more. Okay. That we've got here. Yeah, this is not a hermit crab. This is no. a regular yeah. land crab. Regular land crab. Yes, He's it big. in the cold areas where there's a lot of water. That's my carambula drink, which is really from the star fruit. Ubiquitous. You won't find big snakes, you'll find very tender snakes, little ones. I hope you find some. You want to? Yes. yes. Anyone here for those snakes? Yes, yes, everyone raise your hand. <laughs> Okay, if I see one, I'll try to catch it for it. Okay. All right. People like you. Yeah. I usually point off this tree first. Please, don't touch. This is one of the most powerful aphrodisiacs in the island. <laughs> right. The okay. men like it. You, you could see here the damage to a forest. You know this guy? Yeah. You know this guy? <laughs> He's troublesome dude. I said damage to trees and offense, so don't report that. Yeah. Now this is one of the trees. Just pass it around and inhale. Yeah. Kerosene. Yeah. Now in the earlier days, the Carib Indians, yeah. whilst living on the island, they had no match, no kerosene, so they would use. Okay. So they would cut the tree trunk and dig up the trunk with their stone axe to make the canoes. Canoe. And after digging it out, they would fill it up with water and big boulders, stones, big boulders, and leave it out in the water. Because everyone wants to swim in the water and it doesn't make it that attractive anymore. This is the same tree that I showed you. Go to this one. This is the Emerald Pool. Again, this is in the uh, lush 
tropical rainforest. This is Grenada. One, two, one, two. We're on the like rum runner. This looks like a big board up on top. Well, that has alcohol in it.
Grenada. <laughs> Still works. This is usually a weekend, but you know, during Christmas time, it's about 15 days every day. This is the coast of Venezuela in the National Park. Darren, wait, stop. This is Oh, wow. Okay, princess group here. <laughs> okay, can you hear me back there? Yes. Okay, you see this area where we are right now. Okay, this is a national park. The name of the park is Up. They have a few other houses, they have two private houses. So the clay uh, that you know, make the water safe and makes the ground very, very dry. The wildlife here in the park is Ecuador, Peru, and Bolivia. So the money is called after him, Bolivar. And the exchange rate is about 580 Bolivars for one US dollar. jungles of Venezuela. <laughs> See, this is a boa constrictor. Baby. No, this is about the other side they got here. Uh, you go south to the Amazon forest to find them 25 degrees. You want to take a picture? Okay, somebody wants to take his picture? Somebody wants to take a picture down here? Come here. You want? <laughs> Look at this brave man here, huh? Do you believe this? He just catch it here in the jungle. Yeah, it's him, it's him. This is Venezuela. This is a different stop along the Venezuelan coast. Next stop will be on the beach. So this is the enemy toast.
Here we are on the beach. Lovely waves. And here are these sissies with the chairs. Look at the size of those waves. Very rough waters on the northern coast of Aruba. This used to be my temple. Okay, on the way back, we're gonna pass this point as well. These are lava rocks in Aruba. See the waves? This is the natural bridge. It shows that Aruba was underwater totally in the past. The coral reefs on top. These are different corals that are above the ground. And here's brain coral way above ground. This is all the volcanic rock.
choppy waters. Sunk off the coast of Aruba. To the sea world. This is the stingray. It's the shuttle boat that's going to transfer you out to the semi-submarine. Officer around your back, not big, every trip. If you're wearing a hat, please be warned. It's very windy here in Aruba. It will get windier as we go offshore, so please. We normally only turn around for... the coast of Aruba by the hotels. Some brain corals, the round rocks that look like human brains. This is the forward mast. This is inside the submarine. No, it's fast asleep. This is the top side of the wreck. The German ship that the captain scuttled when the Dutch wanted to take over the ship during World War II. Casavari. This is the island of Aruba. That must be Howard Johnson's. I got him. Isn't that funny? It's a mountain goat. <laughs> I was like, what is that? And he's eating something. That's funny. Oh, here comes the baby. Oh, there's a baby. Oh, my God. Oh. Annabelle, look at the goats. That's funny. And there's a little baby up there, too. And, and the goats are looking at me. There's about three or four of them. Yeah, by the way. She's kind of 
windy up here. typical Dutch companies. That's their slogan, one happy island. <laughs> 